Hello, for this video I will be installing Windows Server 2008. We, I use uh, VirtualBox, you can use uh, uh, VirtualBox or VMware. For this video I will choose uh, VirtualBox because that's my uh, preferred uh, software. Uh, first, typing the name. Set it up for 2 GB of RAM. Making a virtual drive. Yes, yes, all default. Except this one, just put it on 100 for the safe side. Not that you need it, but you never know. Save. Start your machine. Point your virtual machine to your to your ISO, or put your DVD from uh, 2008 Enterprise or standard uh, data center in your computer. This will take a minute or two. Now I will set the time settings on Dutch, that's my country, so... Okay. Uh, well, this is a clean install, so no upgrade is available, you can see next. So I will use custom. And enterprise, because the next videos will include some roles which doesn't apply on standard. And enterprise is just good enough for, for this video. Ok, click next. Accept the license. Uh, well, I said before, no upgrade is available because we're using a new server. Click custom. Come on. <coughs> now, the 100 gigabyte hard drive formatted to a new partition. I click next. Now we'll, uh, Windows will copy, copy the files from the DVD to the hard drive. From that it will reboot and install it and this can take from a couple of minutes to 30, 1 hour, depending on your system. I will uh, cut this video now and come back when uh, the copying is finished. No. The system is almost copy, almost done copying the files. After that, uh, it will reboot and continue installing, which again can take a couple of minutes or longer, depending on your system. Don't press the DVD start button. We will start the installation process again, which you don't want.
if you did uh, accidentally hit that button, just reboot your system and don't hit it again. <coughs> This can take again some minutes. Those white boxes are just lag. It will clear up. It reboots again. Don't press any key. This can take a minute or two. Okay, you need to change your password because there is no administrator password at this time. 
Not that you know it in, in any case. I just use reset one, two, three with a capital R just for the safe side and because it is easy to remember for this video. Now after preparing the desktop you can change and change your name from the server so it's uh, now easier accessible than just a bunch of numbers and we need to install guest editions ah, I will use uh, work uh, location you know, computer properties advanced system settings computer name change from this I would just say server. Okay. Yes. Close. Later. Oh, you need to activate your windows if you have got the key. No. Okay, got the key. You can put it in right here and just click next and again. <coughs> then the uh, windows will automatically connect to internet or ask you call Microsoft I won't be doing that on video because I don't want uh, the key in public I will install the virtual, the <coughs> virtual edition editions the AMD64 uh, version because it's a 60-bit uh, system you can see it right here 62 bit and begin from the video you can can also see it that we put on uh, x64 bit name and just yeah, standard just next and uh, let it install except the driver is all trusted okay now well, reboot it and after rebooting your uh, server is done ready for use in the next couple of videos I will be doing some more work with the server enterprise adding some roles so please check them out rate, subscribe uh, comments and uh, Come on. Yes, there it is. Okay. Control delete. Let me set one, two, three. Ah, what we can do also is if is changing the desktop resolution. This is 800 by 600, which is not that great. Personalize display settings. Ah, what's this? Ah, it's better. Yeah, this will work. Okay. Well, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it, and that it was in the <coughs> that was helpful. Until uh, next time. Bye.